Well, a very good afternoon and welcome to Prenton Park for the second Cheshire Derby this week as Stockport County travel to face local rivals Tranmere Rovers. I'm John Kieran. This is Stockport County Live. Manager Dave Challoner was scathing about his players on Saturday after the home defeat to Crewe. He's made three changes uh, this afternoon. Paddy Madden, Fraser Horsfall, who's ill, and Ibi Torre all drop out. Neil Byrne returns at the back. Odin Bailey is restored to midfield. And there's a debut at the back for youngster Reese Bennett on loan from Manchester United. We think he would have started anyway, but uh, Fraser Horsfall's illness has certainly added an extra dimension to the problems at the back. Back with Bennett, or oh, slip on the far side by Powell. Just lost his footing completely. Apter steals, threads it through for Jennings. What a block that is. Superb defending from Neil Byrne. It all came from a slip from Nick Powell. O'Connor to take, the former Manchester United and Celtic man. Jennings goes to ground, but uh, the referee felt there was contact well this is an interesting position for a free kick Turnbull's up from the back so is Davis oh it's turned in on the near post and it's Davis who gets the goal he made a run, a diagonal run from back to front nobody went with him nobody tracked him and Dave Challoner, having bemoaned the way his side defended corners and set pieces on Tuesday night, it's more of the same as County have been undone from a set piece. And once again, County behind. Dave Challoner's on his feet now, rest assured. Powell, lovely cushion ball into the path of Bailey who tried to take it around the defender cut back towards Powell, ricochets off the defender O'Connor turns it behind County have their first corner of the afternoon It's been a first half of low quality from both sides to be fair the Chandler haven't been great but they've not needed to be Halfway line, Byrne with the header beats Saunders to the ball helped on by Bristow Sarsavik back to Crosdale oh, that's a terrible pass though straight to Saunders and Saunders able to break now for Rovers skips away from Bennett he's inside the box, he's found Jennings and there's Byrne to clear, only to the edge of the area a stinging, dipping volley from Apter on the edge of the box brilliantly saved by Hinchliffe and then the offside flag comes to County's rescue Dave Challoner needs to get his players in Cass needs to cross it, first time, and does. Powell arriving at the far post, couldn't connect, helped away by Davis. Tramir's defence was creaking momentarily. County will come again, Bennett. Sarsavik, the shot deflected into the arms of the keeper, but at least it's a shot on target from County as the board goes up to show one added minute. I mean, one thing you are grateful for, Liam, is that you and I didn't have to sit in that uh, dressing room at half-time. I imagine it was quite heated as uh, County pushed forward down the left with Bristow. Not a single cross from County in that first half. Can they get one in now? There it is. A deep ball. Lemon Hay Evans keeps it alive. Oh, and Powell almost got there and Turnbull gets in just ahead of him to clear. First cross, first chance, really, of a County goal, but uh, Turnbull gets there first. Yeah, it's a great run by Lemony Evans towards the back post. We'll come back to that, sorry. No, another chance of a cross now from the right-hand side. Danger here for the home side, but Will Collar with the header saved by the goalkeeper. Point-blank range, and Will Collar, within two minutes of his return, almost hauls County back into the game. Byrne playing now at the heart of the back three. Turns away from the on-rushing Saunders. Gets the ball forward up to halfway, but Rovers win it back through Davis. Regan Hendry has picked out Morris on the far side. This could be two. Saved by Hinchliffe. Barmed into a bad area. Oh, Apter with the follow-up. Saved again by Ben Hinchliffe. It stays 1-0. Get back on top in this game. Third place crew. 0-0 at home to Harrogate. Here come County again with Nick Powell. Couldn't thread the ball through. County still have a chance to get a cross in though. With Bristow. Comes inside this time though. Squares it for Will Collar. Collar to Bailey. Bailey taking on Turnbull 
twisting and turning on the edge of the box, finds Lemon Hay Evans on the right. It's a good run from him. Pulls it back to Bailey who shoots and it's just wide of the upright. It just needed a touch inside the box. A Laffey was there and in the six-yard box. Byrne hooks the ball clear, helped on towards Sarsovic. Powell, Sarsovic turns into trouble in the form of Turnbull. Tranmere free kick, fouled by Bennett. Flashing into the back of Connor Jennings. Free kick to Tranmere, just inside county territory. County with plenty of goals on the bench this afternoon. Rovers free kick, halfway line, just inside the centre circle. Pinged out towards the right side of the county penalty head. Turnbull scores! A straight ball. County didn't deal with it. Turnbull pivoted and hooks it into the net. And Tranmere have doubled their lead, 2 0. As it stands, Mansfield at top of the league. As Walker takes this corner, free header and a goal. It's another one for Turnbull. County Trail 3 0. And again, it's a set piece. And it was oh too easy for Tranmere Rovers. And it is so difficult to put your finger on what it is that's changed, what's gone wrong. As Liam rightly says, the defending of set pieces has suddenly become an issue. But look at this from a quick throw. Apter should have been four. He's put it in the side netting. County are all over the place. It's just so frustrating because from open play up until the last couple of minutes, of course, there's it, not been much in the game. Mm -hmm. it, it's the set pieces and the bad defending from set pieces that have it just mean that County don't haven't had a, a sniff really in this game. Here's Madden on the right wing. It's a decent ball. Oh, and unfortunately for Carl Wotton, the defender got there just ahead of him. Lethargic leggy in, in that first half, so I can, I can understand making that change. And I suppose at this point, who do you put out there? Uh, if Vittori has gone out and, and doing a job, but here's Sarsavik. He's took a blow to the face, but he's also took a pass and he's going to shoot from distance and he's not too far away. He wants a corner. The referee agrees. Took a flick off the defender. County have a corner. 13 and a half to play. The corner's a little bit flat. And it's come through to Madden. Oh, across the face of goal, he's unlucky. Again, took a flick off a defender, and again, it's a county corner. Listen to these Tranmere fans loving every minute of this. We're in the final five. Yeah, I mean, John Turnbull's definitely got under the skin of Paddy Madden a little bit yeah. there, just, just, just it's laughing in his on. face. Yeah. And it's. Need to get on with it, county. Yeah. here come Rovers for number four it's all too easy and it's Connor Jennings of course it is against his former club County again just switching off at the back a long through ball and it all came from that disputed throw in initially 